Debris from the Titan submersible disaster has now arrived in St. John's Harbor. We have new images into us from our St. John's Bureau at CBC News. You're seeing in these pictures the Horizon Arctic, uh, the Canadian ship, the first to locate wreckage from the Titan on the ocean floor, the company that operates the ship, says debris is on board. The U.S. Coast Guard says two large debris fields were located on the seafloor, not far from the wreckage of the Titanic. And Titan, you'll remember, was diving down nearly 4,000 meters to that iconic wreck when it imploded a week ago Sunday. All five people on board were lost. We're going to bring you some expert analysis of what's going on, but let's get you right up to date on the facts that we have. Again, looking at the ship as it came in just about 90 minutes ago, Brett Russell is in Halifax with the latest. Brett? Well, Heather, yeah, so expert analysis coming, some, some amateur analysis now because we can see those sheets on the stern of that vessel and we don't know exactly what's underneath it, but we do know the description of what the U.S. Coast Guard found. They found five major pieces of debris, that's according to the U.S. Coast Guard at various news conferences last week, including the tail cone from the Titan submersible. Now, we all uh, kind of know what the submersible looks like these days after days of coverage with that curvature one of the items one of the large pieces of debris on the stern of the horizon arctic as it came into st john's harbor has a large piece with that same looking curvature we also know that the dome shape that has the small window in it at the front as well as one at the rear of the titan were both found a fair distance apart in two separate debris fields we also see on the stern of this vessel what looks to be kind of a concave, a dome-shaped mm -hmm. item as well. So again, we don't know exactly what may have been brought up from the bottom in terms of wreckage from the Titan, but we do can make some kind of educated guesses as to what some of these pieces might be. And the process now is to literally piece them together, figure out what may have happened down there. Heather. And that's part of the story we'll get to in a moment. Just to just speak to the challenges of all of this, Brett, the Titan, as I mentioned, going down nearly 4,000 meters to where the wreck of the Titanic is. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you talk about the, the cooperation that we've seen from this search. So within those pictures still, you can see kind of a yellow submersible. That is the Odysseus uh, ROV, the Odysseus 6K. That stands for 6,000 because it can go down 6,000 meters. What had to happen was that team had to bring that submersible as well as two of those uh, shipping containers that you see there on the stern of the ship. That came from Cape Cod, from a, comp a company in Massachusetts there, loaded on to the Horizon Arctic. They went out and that ROV was the one that actually discovered these two debris fields. That ROV was the one that brought up those uh, pieces that we now see on the stern. And I looked at the dimensions of that ROV, about the size of a smart car or so. So a good sized piece of machinery able to do those heavy lifts that we've seen. and. So now it's a matter of uh, hearing what officials have to say about these pieces of debris brought up from the bottom.